So yeah, this has kind of been my dwelling spot the last uh, three nights. I had finally and slightly sadly left Slovenia behind. The long country of Croatia lied ahead and 600 plus kilometers of coastline in the peak tourist season of August would offer a hot and bustling experience. I hugged the coast, drank coffee and kept pedaling. Croatia is far from flat. The coast is surrounded by a fortress of mountains on the interior, offering plenty of climbing and relaxing seaside towns. I wandered around finding hills to keep up the training, whilst I dwelled in one spot to complete my studies. Selce is a decent spot for that. I met many travellers in the campground and drank a few cold ones. <laughs> Seems like everything's spinning. The trees and the oh, wish they'd stay still. On the weekends, I took off to explore a nearby island. What an absolute peach of a day! Boy, check out this gnarly summer traffic. Whew. Finding Haribo, boats and more roads to explore. Taking daily dips in the sea to cool off from 35 degree temperatures. Bike never far away. I stumbled upon a spare room next to a hostel as I started to get tired and it started to get dark. Well rested, I packed up and headed back to Celsi. On the return on the bridge back from Kirk Island, I met a fellow cycle tourer, Eni. He was travelling without a phone from a side trance festival in Budapest and asked me to take a selfie and email it to him. We had some long interesting chats about life, philosophy, and the bicycle being in his words, a way of life. We both pressed on before parting ways. I caught one last memorable sunset before catching a lift with a German family. I had met at the campground. Our noble steed was an old 1983 Mercedes, which the owner customised with a garage to fit five bikes in the back. I slept on the couch and enjoyed moving at a faster pace to a waterfall I've always wanted to go to, but would have otherwise missed had it not been for this lift and the kindness of strangers.
Life is not all beer and skittles, but sometimes it really is. Whoa! Looks like a big weather system coming up. Look at those colours! Look at those reds against those darks. Oh! Supposed to be some wild boars around here, but uh. They keep having these signs, but like, I don't seem to see them. Ooh. It's crazy that the GoPro actually captures it better than the, the other camera. Ooh. Look at that rainbow! Full rainbow! These guys are about to sail into a rainbow. Just getting right in amongst it. Looks like our little rainbow's back. He's been following me around all day. <laughs> These little side streets. Take you to the candy shop. <laughs> Check out these narrow streets in Trogir. Pretty cool actually. This place is trippy AF. Eh? Yes. 
This is Kochila Island. Ah, it's a really beautiful island. Full of vineyards, gravel roads, hills, and olive plantations. making some of the classic instant cover everything you need mm, we're almost there got a nice little big windshield here yeah that bivy got rained on pretty bad today we had a bit of a weather system come through Want to explore, don't you? It's like a wildcat. Soaked one day, the sun came out the next. The flowers were vibrant, and the butterflies forever restless, never stayed in one place long, just about long enough to take some video. Dwelling on their transient nature, I started to think about making tracks myself. All I have is fear I love But I hope one day I'll know How it feels to love someone Alright, strap in, there's going to be some serious downhill here It's going to be epic
Even see that it's a bicycle yeah. when you film it. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> lots of lots of thunder and lightning and heavy rain in the bivouac. <laughs> Oh, uh, a fire, so he's just going to get some stuff like that, put it inside. Oh, I see. He's going to get some firewood over there, isn't but he? It's, like, it's totally contained and it's... Um, is this why you smoke, so you've always got something that can light them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are also looking to find some gas, because yeah. obviously there was quite a lot of rain in Italy, and there was a few mornings where we had to go without our oats and our coffee, so... Oh, that's something. I struggle without coffee. We've got to yeah, have it. Yeah, yeah. We need, we need, it. We need a coffee in there. Nice. We kind of went near Kofa, um, but not really. It, we we took a route that was just directly to Croatia, so we kind of just went on. We didn't see a shop the whole way or so anything. The whole, the whole way across Slovenia, we didn't see one shop, but a man gave us food, so we were like... Okay. Oh and my so you, you have a tent on you? 